Right, good morning all. So uh, this is the piece of shit that I was ripped off with when I bought it. But if we can get over the um, schoolboy jokes and everything, let's just move on. I've got it, and now I need to do something with it. So, if I run this little video up quick, can any of you knowledgeable people tell me just what the hell I've got? Uh, yeah, so the engine number. Go on, get in there. It's 171 something, which I've seen one other post on the internet saying a 171 engine is a god knows what, but this is a god knows what. It's supposed to be a 96 CR. There is a VIN number, but I've covered it up to cover my own ass because as of yet, I don't know what this is. It's not stolen. Basically, it's coming to the country in a container of bits and someone has knocked this up out of it so uh, if anybody out there can recognize anything and tell me what the hell it is it gives me a chance of buying the right parts it's also got a water temp sensor up there look um, so that makes it more interesting Yeah, down the back of there is pretty dark, but I've got a feeling the crank's gone because there's an awful lot of rattling in there on the comrade. So I don't think we'll be getting too far with this thing. we got that there. Similar number on the swinging arm. If anybody can identify the reeds. Why haven't they got a stop on them? There's nothing to limit the travel on them. Is that normal? The carburetor, <clears throat> it's got no stamped number and two ominous stickers on the float ball, which my phone is shit at focusing. Sorry about this. Leads me to believe this is a copy. Either way, it's on the bike, so we got to go with it. What else? That spring was yellow. Someone's put red over the top. So uh, that makes that pretty ominous. No idea checking the rate on it. I just know that it's shagged. What have we got there? K K65. Phone is hopeless. I'm trying hard not to swear here. All the plastics are Suzuki RM. Obviously, it's a Suzuki RM tank. It's marked up 98. July 98 probably um, yeah you'll love this I'm sorry about my phone I don't know why it won't focus properly it's just Samsung shit oh, absolutely love the subframe focus I mean I didn't really look that hard at the bike I should have looked a lot harder I kind of thought, yeah, typical Thai sort of bodgery, I can just sort that out. I didn't really realise just how bad it was. I just thought, yeah, fix that bit. Yeah, fix that bit. But now I'm into it, it's like, what the f... Yeah, have I bought... Alright, I didn't know before, but I now know. That's a Suzuki earbox. Is there supposed to be a lid on this thing? Because that's all it is, wide open. Out there. Now this pipe, there's no weight to it. There's no markings on it anywhere. This is actually the Honda pipe. Because I don't know. It's very light. It's an O-ring type. It's lying on the floor. 
going back to this thing. Uh, I've no idea of identifying the forks. Someone said 93. It's got a four bolt disc in it, which I've actually replaced already from China. The spindle doesn't come out the end. Maybe you can identify the forks for me so we can try and get them serviced. Uh, I suppose, really. Oh, and the uh, ignition box. It's got wiring for lights coming out of it. And yes, I know now it's not supposed to be tied up there. But I didn't know that before. I'd actually gone to buy a 1989 CR, which I'd done a lot of homework on, and I was pretty confident on what I was buying. I didn't know about these. Uh, well, somebody offered it to me saying that he'd gone right through it and it was spot on. Oh, I know what we got to do. Check this out. This should make you laugh. I'm trying to balance uh, a torch in two fingers while holding the phone so you can see what's going on here. Is this supposed to happen? Is that supposed to move on its own? Like that, and not spring back. Look, it's kind of jamming all over the shop. I know the valves aren't working right. And then in here, there's all sorts of up and down movement. Unfortunately, being in Thailand, this would have been ridden, never maintained, and just fucked to a stump. So, uh, if you can leave any comments on what the hell I'm looking at, apart from junk, just leave the obvious comments out. Try and give me some constructive ones, please, because I need to try and order parts for this. I've got to fly 10,000 miles to find the parts, buy the right ones, bring them back, and try to rescue this piece of shit. So if you can leave me any uh, constructive comments below, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, and cheerio now.